Welcome to Culture Alley Spanish. Hola, this is Español Lesson 11. Let's start by going over some of the phrases that you learned in the last lesson again. What translates to que and which to cual? How becomes como? Who is quien in singular form? Try that, please. Quien and quienes in plural form. Say that as well. Quienes. Lastly, where translates to donde. Can you try saying it? Donde. And to where becomes a donde. Do you remember the forms of said? I am translates to yo soy. We are is nosotros somos. Informally, you are translates to tú eres. And its plural form becomes vosotros sois. Formally, you are translates to ustedes. And the plural form is ustedes son. He is or she is translates to él or ella es. And they are, is ellos or ellas son. Let's look at the examples for forms of verbs again. Let's look at the forms of caminar first. To walk or caminar ends in AR. And its forms are, yo camino, nosotros caminamos, tú caminas. Vosotros camináis. Usted camina. Ustedes caminan. Él o ella camina. Ellos o ellas caminan. Next, we look at the forms of to eat or comer, which ends in ER. Yo como. Nosotros comemos. Tú comes. Vosotros coméis. Usted come, ustedes comen, él o ella come, ellos o ellas comen. Finally, let's look at the forms of to live or vivir, which ends in IR. Yo vivo, nosotros vivimos, tú vives, vosotros vivís, usted vive, ustedes viven. Él o ella vive. Ellos o ellas viven. Let's look at the forms of the verb to do or hacer. I do translates to yo hago. Note that it does not become aso like a regular verb would have. It is hago. One more time. I do is yo hago. We do becomes nosotros hacemos. Try that, please. Nosotros hacemos. Informally, you do translates to tú haces. And for its plural form, you do is vosotros hacéis. Try saying that. Vosotros hacéis. He does or she does or you do formally translate to él hace or ella hace or usted hace. Finally, they do or you do in plural and formal form become ellos or ellas hacen or ustedes hacen respectively. Try these forms. Ustedes hacen. All right, let's see what's the objective for today's lesson. Today, we will learn some basics to help us talk about our family and friends. Let's look at today's conversation taking the examples of Lisa and Mark again. Lisa. Hi, Mark. Who is she? Mark. Hello. She is my sister, Martha. Lisa. Who is he? Mark. He is our father. Lisa. And she? Mark. She is our aunt. Mark's aunt. Who is she, Mark? Mark. She is my friend, Lisa. All right. 
time for some new vocabulary to help us complete this conversation. Let's learn some common relations. Starting with father, which translates to papa or padre. Mother becomes mamá or madre. And parents is translated as padres. So try the translations for father, mother, and parents again. Papá, mamá, and padres. Or padre, madre, and padres. Good! Moving on, brother is hermano. Sister translates to hermana. And siblings for a mixed group becomes hermanos. Can you try these? Hermano for brother, hermana for sister, and hermanos for a group of mixed siblings. Very good. Let's now look at son. Son is hijo. And daughter is translated as hija. Can you try these, please? Hijo and hija. Do you remember that H is always silent in Spanish, as we noticed with hermana and hermano? Good. Let's look at some more family relations. Grandfather is translated as abuelo. Grandmother is abuela. And grandparents becomes abuelos. Try saying abuelos. It is abuelos. All right. Uncle is tío. And aunt translates to tía. Say that one more time, please. Tía. Good. Now let's look at the translations for cousin. Male cousin is primo. And female cousin becomes prima. Now that we know the key family relations, let's also look at the translation for friend. Friend translates to amigo or amiga, depending on the gender. Try saying amigo. Amigo. Good. All right. Let's see if you remember what we just saw. What does mother translate to? Is it madre or padre or is it hermana? Mother translates to madre. Great! How will we say sister? Will we say hermano or hermana or hermanas? Is it the first or the second? Maybe it's the third. Sister is translated to hermana. Now try the plural form of sisters. Is it hermano, or hermana, or hermanas? What do you think the answer is? Sisters is hermanas. Did you get that right? Try the translation for grandparents. Will it be abuelos, or abuelo, or abuela? The correct translation for grandparents is abuelos. One more time. Abuelos. Let's look at the possessive adjectives like my, your, etc., which will help us in talking about family and friends. Possessive adjectives show ownership. For example, mi hermana means my sister. Tu hermano is your brother. There are five possessive adjectives. My translates to me. One more time, me. Informally, your becomes tu. His, her, their, or your formally is su. One more time, su. Our is translated to nuestro, with other variations for different genders. Try saying nuestro. Nuestro. And finally, 
plural form of your informally translates to vuestro, with other variations for different genders. Can you try that? Vuestro. Let's now look at forms of the possessive adjectives we just saw. Let's start with me, tu, and su. Me, tu, and su have just two forms, singular and plural. The forms do not vary depending on the gender. My translates to me in singular form and mis in plural. Your informal becomes tu in singular form and tus in plural. And finally, his, her, their, or your formal is su in singular and sus in plural. Note that the singular and plural forms are determined by the thing being possessed and not the possessor. For example, my sister will use singular form of my, which is me, while my sisters will use plural form of my, that is mis. So the form changed depending on the number of sisters. Let's look at some more examples. My boyfriend translates to mi amigo. Try the translation for my boyfriend. It is mi amigo. My girlfriend becomes mi amiga. While my boyfriend's is mis amigos. Try the translation for my boyfriend's. It is mis amigos. Lastly, my girlfriend's is translated as mis amigas. All right, some examples related to the forms of tu. Your brother translates to tu hermano, but your brother's becomes tus hermanos. Try translating your brother's yourself. It is tus hermanos. Your sister's, similarly, is tus hermanas. Some more examples related to su. Their sister is translated as su hermana. And their sister's becomes sus hermanas. Try saying their sister's. Sus hermanas. And their brother's is sus hermanos. His father becomes su padre. Their father is translated as su padre. Remember, their sister is not sus hermana, but su hermana, as the possessive adjectives agree or change based on the thing being possessed and not the possessor. Let's look at the difference between su and tu. Su, like tu, can mean your. The difference between tu and su lies in the degree of formality the speaker wishes to convey. For example, my house is your house translates to mi casa es tu casa. If you're speaking to someone, you will address as tu. While it will translate to mi casa es su casa. If you're speaking to someone, you will address as usted. All right, it's quiz time. How will you translate my with singular things or objects? Will it be mis or me or tu? Solution. My with singular things or objects is me. Good. Now try my sisters. Is it mi hermanas or mis hermanas or mi hermana? My sisters will be mis hermanas. How about trying to translate their brother? Is it su hermano or sus hermano or sus hermanos? Their brother is su hermano. What if you had to say his brothers? Will you say su hermano? or sus hermano, or sus hermanos. What do you think the answer is? His brothers is translated as sus hermanos. All right, 
Last question before we move forward. How will we say my girlfriends? Do we say mi amiga or mi amigo or mis amigas? My girlfriends is mis amigas. Excellent. Now let's move on to the forms of nuestro. Nuestro, or our, has four forms. For example, our brother translates to nuestro hermano. Say that, please. Nuestro hermano. While our brothers becomes nuestros hermanos. Can you try that? Nuestros hermanos. Our sister is nuestra hermana. One more time. Nuestra hermana. And our sisters becomes nuestras hermanas. So as you see, the forms vary both with gender and singular versus plural. Good. Similarly, vuestro, which is the translation for your in an informal plural setting, has four forms. So your brother is translated as vuestro hermano. Can you say that? Vuestro hermano. Your brother's becomes vuestros hermanos. Your sister translates to vuestra hermana. Try that, please. Vuestra hermana. Your sister's is vuestras hermanas. Great! Let's try some quizzes to learn this better. Try the translation for our male cousins. Will you say nuestros primos? Or nuestros primo? Or nuestro primos? Our male cousins is nuestros primos. Did you get that right? It is the male and plural form. Good. Now try your sister, where your is informal and plural. Will it be vuestro hermano? Or vuestras hermana? Or vuestra hermana? Your sister in an informal plural context is vuestra hermana. We use the singular feminine form as sister was singular. Now try your sisters where your is informal and plural. Will it be vuestra hermanas or vuestras hermanas or vuestra hermana? Your sisters in an informal plural context is vuestras hermanas. We use the plural feminine form as sisters was plural. Great! All right, time for some conversations. Here's the conversation between Lisa and Mark again. Lisa. Hi, Mark. Who is she? Mark. Hello. She is my sister, Martha. Lisa. Who is he? Mark. He is our father. Lisa. And she? Mark. She is our aunt. Mark's aunt. Who is she, Mark? Mark. She is my friend, Lisa. All right. Let's break it into parts and practice translating it. Hi, Mark. Who is she? Translates to Hola, Mark. ¿Quién es ella? Did you get the translation for who is she? It is ¿Quién es ella? The reply, Hi, she is my sister, Martha, translates to Hola, ella es mi hermana, Marta. Try the translation for she is my sister again. 
It is, ella es mi hermana. The next question, who is he, becomes, quién es él. One more time. Quién es él. The response, he is our father, is translated as, él es nuestro padre. Did you get that? Try saying he is our father. You'll say, él es nuestro padre. Very good. Now let's see the second part of our conversation. And she translates to, y ella, she is our aunt, becomes, ella es nuestra tía. Try that one more time. She is our aunt, or ella es nuestra tía. Now Mark's aunt asks, who is she, Mark? Which becomes, quién es ella, Mark? Mark replies by saying, she is my friend, Lisa, which is translated as, ella es mi amiga, Lisa. So how will you say she is my friend? You'll say, ella es mi amiga. Awesome. Let's revise the possessive adjectives we learned today. My translates to me. Your informal becomes tú. His, her, or your formal or their is su. Our is translated as nuestro. Your informal and plural translates to vuestro. Very good. Let's also revise the family relations we saw today. Father translates to papá or padre. Mother becomes mamá or madre. Parents is translated to padres. Brother is hermano. Sister translates to hermana. Siblings becomes hermanos. Moving on, son is hijo and daughter is translated as hija. Grandfather becomes abuelo, while grandmother translates to abuela, and grandparents becomes abuelos. Moving on, uncle is tío, and aunt translates to tía. And lastly, male cousin is primo, and female cousin becomes prima. Great! All right! It's time for our culture leaf of the day. Today, we will discuss bullfighting. Bullfighting is certainly one of the most popular, yet perhaps the most controversial, of Spanish customs. It is a traditional spectacle of Spain, Portugal, southern France, and some American countries like Mexico, Colombia, Ecuador, Venezuela, and Peru. One or more bulls are baited and then killed in a bullring for sport and entertainment. Supporters of bullfighting argue that it is a culturally important tradition and a fully developed art form, while animal rights advocates hold that it is a blood sport resulting in the suffering of the bulls. In the next lesson, we will learn some advanced conversations around talking about one's family and friends. We hope you enjoyed your lesson today. See you at the alley for the next one.